Okay, today is February the 19th, 2017, and right now at 5 p.m., we have a temperature of 51 degrees. The uh, relative humidity is 91%. We've got a barometer, which has uh, risen quite a bit. Uh, the other day, two days ago, we had a, a barometric pressure of 29.66 inches. Now it's at 30.02. And we have a dew point of 48 degrees. And we had some light rain uh, this morning and overnight. And uh, that brought the total of our uh, rain up to exactly four inches. So we had rain on starting on Friday, and uh, we've had a total of four inches since that time. And uh, if we look at the Doppler map right now, we can see that there's actually some rain on the way right now. This is all moving in, and uh, we can see the rain here is already over Oxnard, which is up the coast a ways, about 40 minute drive from here, 45 minutes, and we can see LA. So this is all moving in. We should be getting some more rain. Uh, tonight, and uh, we'll uh, see what happens. Let's go back to the uh, map, water vapor map. We can see uh, we've got uh, jet stream flow right into uh, California once again, and we have a weather system right here. This is a gale force system which is supposed to move into northern California. We can see the uh, there's a, a channel of uh, high pressure that's been built in with a transmitter all through this area to prevent this tropical uh, warm uh, moisture field from getting mixed up with this uh, gale force system right here, which is uh, forecasted to move into Northern California. We also have a rapidly intensifying hurricane force system right up, right up there. With, I, I think the pressure is 973 millibar or something like that. And right here we have strong high pressure. We can see that clockwise rotation. This is a transmitter generated Feature. We've got also a dark area right here, which is separating uh, this system from uh, this whole area of moisture from, from this uh, developing uh, gale force system. This all has transmitter manipulation written all over it. We can see that giant semi-circular uh, shaped area of dry uh, high pressure right in this area. Also right here, look at the clockwise rotation right in this area. All right, let's take a look at the, uh, the infrared map, and we can see moisture moving right into uh, southern, central, and southern California right here. And this is that uh, developing hurricane force system. All right, here's the western U.S. water vapor map. There's the uh, jet stream right into California. And this is the uh, storm system that moved away from California. This is all being manipulated. Uh, there's a low right there trying to spin, but they've got a transmitter on this as well, and that's why there's a straight edge moving right up into Colorado. And we actually see a right angle right right here. We go to the uh, the infrared map. We can see that right right here. That straight edge. So we've got a separation right here between the jet stream and this uh, storm system, which moved through and dumped about four inches of rain. And we have uh, tonight and tomorrow, we're, this is part of that uh, Pineapple Express tropical flow right here on the jet stream. So this is a completely different system. And then we have this uh, developing gale, which should move into uh, Northern California. This is all being manipulated. There is slight rotation here, but not much. It looks like this is going to uh, move right into uh, Northern California. Here's the uh, surface analysis map. And we can see high pressure off of Southern California. Also, we have this uh, dual low pressure system indicated as a gale. These are both moving towards uh, Central and Northern California. There's a whole bunch of lows up here. One, two, three. And these two, a total of five lows right off of the west coast. And we have high pressure installed between this hurricane force system, which is right now moving to the uh, north. Here's the swell report. 
that gale force system is generating 30 feet, 30 foot swells. We've got 15 foot swells right off of Southern California right now. And the jet stream map, which is uh, running right into California. And the Doppler map once again. Should be getting some rain here in the next hour, I would guess. Okay, let's take a look at the uh, SSCC uh, water vapor map, and we can see that gale force system right here. Then we have high pressure uh, right in this area. You see a lot of chemtrail spraying going on right through here. Is this next? Uh, this is that hurricane force system out over here, which is moving in. They've got a channel, a blockade built in to separate this Pineapple Express flow into uh, central and southern California from all the rest of this weather. It's much colder weather, so we can see the chemtrail spraying right in here. And then we have this developing gale, which is going to move into uh, probably into uh, northern California. All right, let's take a look at the east coast. We can see that what's happening here. We have a uh, storm system right here, which has a right angle on it right there. And the low, which is indicated right, right there, is completely separated from the frontal system. So what they've done, let's go ahead and stop this. And we can see the general circulation pattern is right around uh, this low pressure system right there. And this is the frontal system. And so the transmitter then generates a right angle. This is probably microwave doing this. We set up a right angle. That's heating the interior of this system and evaporating all that moisture and preventing uh, circulation. We can see this entire front split away, and the frontal the frontal system is, is split away, and then the low pressure is is isolated. And this is what the uh, purpose is of of the uh, right angles that are generated on these storms and gale force weather systems. So let's go ahead and run the loop again. We can see what's happening. So they separate the moisture laden frontal system away from that uh, storm, whatever this is, uh, this may be a gale force system, but that is the purpose. So you see that right angle right there. That's a fairly uh, fairly well defined right angle. We can put the put the envelope in there. It fits fairly well. It's not a perfect right angle, but it's good enough. We see once again that there's plenty of manipulation going on there. Okay. And then, of course, we have the remnants of that uh, West Coast storm that uh, dropped four inches of rain, and that is being uh, split up. We have a transmitter right along this uh, west side, which has uh, flattened out that entire uh, vortex and all the rotation. And we can see the uh, remnants of that. We also have high pressure over the uh, Midwest and the East Coast. Now, I was reading somewhere that in uh, Chicago, they have not had any snow uh, other than maybe an inch here and there for something like 52 or three days, abnormally warm temperatures. And we can see right here what's happening. They've got high pressure parked right over this area. And that's what all this uh, dark blue is. If you look down here at the scale, this is the uh, very dry conditions down over here, far left. And then we have the uh, depth of the water vapor over here, the red indicating very uh, deep uh, pockets of moisture right here, this red. Okay, let's uh, take a look at some of these other pictures. Now we have, uh, this is that transmitter in uh, Oroville. We have the dam over here on the upper right. You can see that, there it is right there. This is the dam. Damaged spillway right there and the emergency spillway just to the left. We have the Feather River that comes down. Okay, and then we have what looks like an airport. Go ahead and zoom in a little bit. We've got the Oroville Airport. We have Highway 162, which comes along, and we have the golf course right here. 
that transmitter that's uh, been chopping up the rain in Oroville is located right just on the west side of that airport, or, and the, or rather the golf course. Go ahead and take a look at this. Let's go ahead and zoom in. There it is, right there, right off Hobby 162, I believe it is, right there. From the street view looking uh, south, we'll take a look at that right now, which is right here. We're looking uh, south. This is a stubby tower. This is only like a two-story tower because there's a lot of flat land, a lot of farmland around uh, Oroville. And so we see that uh, golf ball right there. This house is a flat panel, or rather a, a, a dish-shaped uh, radome. And uh, these work dual function. They're marketed as uh, weather Doppler radars, but it seems that they have a high, high power capability. Uh, three quarters of a megawatt is what I understand. You can see that a better view of that right here, a close-up view. I took a screenshot from the uh, street view, Google Street View. All right, now next is the uh, interior of that uh, radome. You can see a service technician there looking at a uh, sticker on the back of that uh, dish. It says, do not uh, stand in front of this uh, antenna while uh, radiating. Otherwise, you get toasted. All right, so that's where this thing is located up in uh, Oroville. And this has some pretty good power because this uh, chops up the rain for quite a quite a long ways. This is all flat land. And this is where all that uh, dam water spills down into this area right here. They have a fish hatchery. And this area of Thermalito was in grave danger the other day when that uh, emergency spillway was uh, starting to uh, erode. You can see the farmland is, is all over uh, up in that area north of Sacramento. All right, so uh, that is the report for today, and we'll leave it right, right here. See that approaching uh, weather system right here, which is uh, scheduled to dump some more rain in uh, Northern California. Meantime, we've got this tropical jet stream flow moving into uh, Central and Southern California, so we'll keep an eye on this Doppler and see what happens. Uh, usually, the the uh, transmitter right here near uh, Lompoc is chopping up all the rain offshore and then we get what's left over from that. But uh, that's not at work right now. We can see that there's a pretty good uh, blanket of, of rain right here. Okay, that's it. And uh, we will uh, do another update tomorrow.